just finished watching the presidential debate between Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Trump. Being that I'm an LGBTQ plus person, you probably can deduce my stance on all of this. I've been very worried about marginalized communities, especially with the concern of another four years of a, you know, Donald Trump presidency. But I, I firmly feel a sense of optimism right now because I think that Harris did sweep this debate because on the other side of, of this conversation, there were a lot of very unsettling and concerning things that were said, which teetered on the verge of actually not teetered, it just flat out was fear mongering. And I, I mean, I, you deduce what you want. The debate is out there. Feel free to go watch it. And obviously you make your own determinations, but I, I am feeling a sense of optimism for Kamala Harris. And I am, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for this because I do feel that sense of hope. But something interesting happened today after the debate. Pop star Taylor Swift finally endorsed Kamala Harris, which we are like obviously very happy about. But uh, like when I say finally, like we've been hoping that she might say something for quite a while. She has a huge following, obviously. There have been other musicians like Chapel Roan who've been far more vocal earlier in the year, and I would have ideally liked if Taylor Swift would have said something much sooner, and other pop stars, but I digress. However, um, I will take support where I see it, and as long, so long as it's, you know, <laughs> prior to the election, right? But I do want to say, I want to add something and discuss something interesting here. It seems like every time a musician endorses a politician there's always like this wave of rhetoric in response where people are like well you should just stay out of politics like why are you you're a musician entertain us stay out of politics i saw this obviously with taylor swift i saw this in 2020 with gaga when she endorsed uh, joe biden and even performed at the inauguration uh my favorite band evanescence when they released the song um use my voice like which is very much a political anthem people got frustrated because they were like, stay out of politics. But I, I want to provide some historical context here. And this is coming from a poet who's been told as well to stay out of politics. For those of you unaware, musicians, artists, poets, sculptors, so many other art forms have always been the barometer gauging, you know, socio-political happenings throughout history, cross-culturally speaking. They have always been at the forefront of advocacy, creating community, and calling out atrocities when they see it, and even engaging in dialogue with political bodies. So this is nothing out of the ordinary to see happen. And frankly, as somebody who does have a platform, I know I think it's important to think about how we advocate for people. And I'm very grateful that we have celebrities like Chapel Roan, Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, Evanescence, who are so willing to use their platforms to voice their concern for communities who may be vulnerable, because those communities may not always have that luxury, right? And I, I just wanted to paint that context just a little bit because there is a space for the arts to engage in conversation with politics. And, and I don't think that anyone should ever be dissuaded from that because we all have voices too. We all are people too. And if we choose to use our platforms to, for, for something of that purpose, like, I, I don't think there's any shame in doing so. Anyway, share your thoughts below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you for listening, and I will talk to you soon.